Hey, welcome back. Sorry it's been a while since I made a video, but I've been real busy working on my car and working at work, so I'm going to show you what I've been doing to my car every spare chance I get. Um, well, now we're in the winter. It's in November. It's very cold, 32 degrees outside. So I needed a way to not use the uh, standard heater that will... Um, it's got to be a 5,000 watt heater. It's not the um, heat pump. It's just a regular resistive heater. This is the uh, cheaper Nissan Leaf. So uh, I had to figure out a way how I can heat my feet and not keep them and keep them warm because uh, my feet get the coldest it seems like. And um, I can keep the rest of the heat off and keep the heated seats on the heated steering wheel. That keeps me pretty warm. I keep my hat on. You know, it's only really for long distance trips when I have to get the range of the charge. So what I did here is I installed a handy heater and that's a uh, 350 watt heater and as you can see it's blowing right at my feet and basically I just have it plugged into the outlet over here and um, I have the inverter switch here that I installed so I flip that switch and that will turn on the uh, handy heater and um, I have my uh, 900 watt continuous inverter modified sine wave in the under the hood hooked up to the battery and basically I just have to turn it on with the switch here I basically brought this extended the wire that was in the inverter to this switch over here and I'm going to turn on the car now I'm up to 37,000 miles I bought this car at 17,000 so I've been I put 20,000 miles on it the last year I just, re I just registered my car again and as you can see over here, my voltmeter uh, peaked at 14. Now it's dropping down since the since the voltage was um, high enough in the battery. So I'm gonna wait for it to drop down to 12.6. Let me turn on my inverter for you to show you how this handy heater works. Um, I saw another video a guy had. He used a diesel heater, and um, I just don't want to buy any gas or diesel at all. So. Um, this is a really effective way to keep your feet warm but also um, not drain your your big battery because actually it just pulls off your 12 volt battery and I found that you can run that, that 12 volt battery will run this handy heater for two hours without having to drain down the battery so I'm going to flip the switch on and I have the handy heater already hooked up to be on so as you can see as you can hear it kicked on is blowing hot air right on my right on my feet and actually after this is on for a while it really starts to build up the heat down here on the floor to keep my feet warm and of course you got the heated steering wheel right here and um, the heated seats here I always keep that on high or low and I rarely ever see this battery being charged up to 14 volts uh, when I'm driving long distance it'll stay at 12 12.7 12.8 and um, you know, I guess when I recharge, it does charge up the 12 volt battery. So, and that's another thing about these cars, it requires a 12 volt battery to run all these systems. Okay, and um, they're still using the lead acid battery. So, basically, um, if that ever fails, you can't start the car. You can't use your big battery to start the car. You need a 12 volt battery. So, what I've done is just in case this battery does fail, let's say I leave this thing on. By accident, I can always use my jump starter here. This is the um, DB power. This costs thirty dollars on Amazon, and just get your simple connections for your um, battery. And also, you can charge your phone with this if you really wanted to. So it's a double thing for me. I could actually recharge my phone if I'm on the road, or I always keep it fully charged, 100%, uh, just in case I do have to start the car because there's no need for AAA with these vehicles. They don't break down, they just, the battery just goes dead after a while. So, cause you know, the lead acid battery is only really good for a year or two and then you have to replace it. So that's one of the downfalls of this car is the, um, is this lead acid battery. Now I wish Nissan would just make a 12 volt battery with their lithium ion pack and be done with it. But, or at least give you an option to, uh, flip a switch to send 12 volts to the battery uh, from the 
from the big battery so you can't start your car just in case your battery does die so right now it, it can't charge the battery until the car is in the on position but you can't get to the on position unless the 12 volt battery has enough charge so all right just want to give you guys a quick update of what i'm doing here and uh give you an idea of things you can do to keep your feet warm in the winter and also i want to say here i got my charge point card it did cost me 25 dollars to get this card but everywhere i've charged so far has been free so um just about halfway there to pay for the card itself the 25 dollars and um, the rest of it will be free and uh, i did find the charger location within a mile to my house so i can park it charge it walk away watch do some errands at home and then go back and come back to a completely charged car for free so maybe that's another reason somebody might want to get this electric car all right well thanks for watching i'll bring you another video soon and uh have a good one